Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and the Change Your Life Through Posture video series. All right, so this is a really exciting time for me now because we're at the point where I'm giving you some updates of how things have been going for me and also uh, I have a real special project that's coming up that I want to share with you guys. So uh, this is all part of the manifestation process that I was talking about at the beginning of my entire series. So it's kind of important. So the very first part of it is of course uh, we're going to get back to the hair because I want you to see first of all look how long this hair has gotten. So it's been just about a year, maybe a year and a half um, since the video series started, but almost two years since I started cutting my own hair. And you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Uh, put that down. Look at this. There it is. There's the long hair. It's tangling a little too. I'm gonna learn how to deal with that part that's really fun and it's really important that we're talking about it right now because it's crucial to uh, something that's coming up so the project that I'm doing it's gonna be really interesting so look at it now here it is uh, I'm also gonna put up when uh, I first started the video series you can see how much shorter it was right and then I'm also gonna show you before I even started the video series, this uh, picture was in uh, Grand Canyon, at the Grand Canyon, I believe. I had, uh, that's when I've been cutting my own hair. So um, check that out. And that picture is really important because it's crucial to what's happening next. All right, I'll explain that in a minute. Um, the other thing that, that we, uh, I wanted to cover with you was, of course, the physical posture. So that was a big deal in my video series, and it still is in my life. You know, once I stopped, got through my entire recording of my video series, which still isn't up completely, but it's coming soon. And by the time you see this, it'll already have been up for quite a while. Anyhow, um, once I got through that, I started realizing, well, I'm not honoring that as much as I could. Some things kept happening in my life, you know, just things happen and they pull your focus away. And I was, wasn't that I wasn't any less committed to this series, it was just I had these things I had to deal with. And part of it was I was just not staying consistent and being disciplined in what I had given for myself, which was that pole posture technique. So with the pole posture technique, basically you have got to stretch, you have got to warm up, you've got to be limber, because those muscles are not going to cooperate as well. You know, I did start already feeling a little bit of stuff in my back and like good down my leg and stuff like that because I'm changing the way that I'm standing. You know, I'm changing where the power of my body is and I'm changing the structure of my entire spine. So of course I'm going to be have, having reactions to that. But in order for my body to agree, it needs to be warmed up. You can't take cold muscles and tell them you're going to stand like this for a long period of time because they're not your body's gonna go back to what it's been used to all this time. And if your posture was bad, you could see it's getting a little bit better. And I'm working on it all the time. And I am doing my underlying manifestation, just like I said. I'm reminding myself throughout the day and I'm catching myself throughout the day and I have some friends at work reminding me, just telling me, you know, hey, remember your back. I'm like, yep, pole posture, I'll stand up right. Anyhow, it's a really big deal for me and it's really important for me to conquer this. And if, it, if you're anything like me and you need to be doing that, just remember to warm up very, very much so. All right, um, so the cool part is now, once I finished the series, I started going, okay, so what is my strategy? How am I going to start expanding out uh, to the people in my life, first of all, to see if anybody out there can help me get started on my journey? of you know getting more gigs getting more opportunities for myself and i said well i pretty much have neglected most of my friends not on purpose it was just that trying to stay focused on all of these things in my life trying to get the video series up it's a lot more work than people realize to put this all together and um, i said well you know i'll just start small i'll just start with some friends that i see more often you know and there, there was a, a couple that came in to work 
Uh, and just so you know, I work at Trader Joe's. Part of my whole series concept was to show others out there that it doesn't matter where you are in your life, it doesn't matter what situation you're in. I ended up taking a full-time job, regular job, that's not related to acting, it's not related to performing. I needed it for the stability, but at the same time, I'm not giving up on my dream. I'm not letting that go. And part of my entire series was about how do you change your thought process so that you can start manifesting and still keep what you have. I'm not gonna just drop all of that and dramatically go, oh, now I have to find work as an actor. I don't care about that. You shouldn't even have to do that in your life. That's because the only time that you do that is because you believe that's what you have to do. But you can also manifest and create from whatever situation you're in. It just takes you thinking, feeling, and taking action and being consistent with it and watching for those opportunities. So anyhow, uh, these friends came into work and they've been asking me literally for years to come to their house and to come hang out and just party with them and have fun and have dinner. And, uh, you know, literally it's been almost two years since they had started asking. And finally I said, you know what, I'm going to make this happen. I've decided I'm going to start getting back out there. I got to start talking to people. It's the only way to get yourself into the arena that you want to be in. So I'm going to just call them and tell them, yeah, I want to come have dinner and hang out with you guys. So I did. And they said, oh, great. Yeah, we'll invite a couple friends over, you know, friends that we think you might like. And I was like, okay, that'd be fun. Uh, so I get there. Um, and the first person that they sit me next to is this guy named Kurt. And uh, we hit it off just conversation wise. And we were just like, oh, you know, it's like, oh, I'm an actor. Or I have been an actor most of my life. You know, I'm working at Trader Joe's and doing all this stuff. And we start talking and suddenly he starts to reveal that he's been writing scripts and that he's interested in putting his scripts out there and making some short films and possibly putting a production company together. Hmm, how incredible is that? I make one attempt, one attempt to start because I had prepaid all this. I had already put this energy out there and I was just new at that moment to make that phone call to them because just something said this was the right move. I didn't know that was going to happen. I didn't know I was going to meet this guy. I didn't know this was going to manifest into what it has. And I'm going to explain all this uh, as I go. Um, you know, part of my entire plan when I had said, okay, I've landed running, what am I going to do? What's the strategy that I really want? And all this with the contacting the people. What I also have been thinking about the whole time is I didn't want to get directly into the main film industry. I didn't want to just jump into that giant sea because it's really challenging to, to get at any age and at any level to get yourself into the limelight. You know, you're going to be background most of the time. And I thought about it. I'm like, well, you know, there's, there's great opportunities in short films. And my big issue has always been that most of the short films that I see, I don't feel like they're quality. I'm going to start looking for short films that are going like to the film festivals, uh, things that, that I might be able to have access to where I can take my documentary series with me and record some of it and catch some of it, you know, because they won't be so against the filming side of it um, and they'll be into it because it'll help them in the long run. Anyhow, none of that occurred to me that I had already fully manifested all of this. I had no idea. I just was trying to keep going forward and going forward. And I believe in my process, but I didn't think it would come out as it has. Uh, basically we started, you know, this guy, Kurt and I started uh, uh, trading off even text messages and stuff like that. And uh, we were keeping in touch. He was sending me more copies of scripts that he liked. I said, well, I love this one. I would really love to be a part of this. And he goes, you know what? There's something in there for you. That's great. It happens to be the lead in the film and it's a short film and it's called uh i can say it now i guess forgiving retribution is the name of it um so the more we started talking the more i realized he really is interested in me for this role you know and i kept giving my feedback and he realized this is a guy who knows what he's doing he's a good actor he can probably really make the film even better by adding what he has to offer so uh eventually 
<laughs> this just happened finally. So for this entire year, this has been going on, right? So I started manifesting way back. I didn't even realize that it was actually happening. I was just planting seeds. Uh, but eventually he just recently sent me a text message that said, uh, oh, how do you feel about cutting the hair? I was like, what? <laughs> oh, there went that. That project's pretty much done because this has been such like a signature look for me and it's been part of my identity. So I'm like, you know what? Can we uh, have a sit down? Can we just have a little lunch or something? And he's like, sure, yeah, let's meet for lunch. So we met for lunch talking about all the other stuff. And I finally said, you know, about the hair, this is like part of my identity. This is part of my entire video series. Uh, I foresee in the future with me doing my songs and some of the country songs I want to put out there that I actually wrote. I see myself basically like this. So I'm pretty committed to the hair. And he was like, okay, well, I mean, we can give it a shot. We can work with that and see if that's going to work out or not. I was like, okay, that sounds great and left and as i was leaving i was like no that didn't sound great it didn't feel great because i think he wants another vision he has another vision of who how i should look you know and so this gets really fun this gets very fun for me so i finally was like about a week ago i thought about it and i was like wait a minute what am i doing I'm doing the same thing. Like when in my early video series, I was talking about, you know, how I was always saying, oh, maybe I'm not right for it. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. And I was basically discounting myself. I was basically excluding myself from all those projects. And I looked at this and I said, do you realize you just repeated history in your life by pretty much excluding yourself by saying, oh yeah, I'm not gonna get the haircut. Okay, so then I'm like, Okay, so what do I do? How am I gonna handle this? And then I thought again, and I was like, this goes deeper than I realized because this is like a major aha moment for me. When I first started out, I was in fifth grade when I did my very first uh, performance, right? I was just so in love with the concept of being in a play. Well, we had a play and it was called Tom Sawyer. It was a musical. Right? And Tom Sawyer is like Tom Sawyer, Huck Finn. Yeah, I'm sure most people know, know what the uh, reference is. Anyhow, I was cast in it and I was cast as a really small part. And I was like, okay, this is exciting. It's my first part. It's something that I can learn. And I was just so eager to learn that I literally learned the entire script. This is like an, oh, more than an hour long musical. I learned the entire script. I learned every character's part. I learned Aunt Polly. I learned Becky. I learned Hook. I knew everybody's part. Tom, of course. And I was just a small little character. Anyhow, flash forward, we start all our rehearsals. We get down to the last two weeks before our play is about to take off. And um, the guy who was playing Tom Sawyer had extremely long hair. How funny is that? And guess what? He decided two weeks before that he didn't want to get his hair cut. And he thought they'd be okay with that because he'd been rehearsing all this time. Well, the principal said, well, I'm sorry, this character has really short hair. That's who he is, so you, you need to do that. And he said, I'm not gonna do that. So guess who was cast two weeks before it opened as Tom Sawyer? Because I had short hair and I had a clean cut look and all that stuff but I knew every single line and they knew that. And that started my actual acting and performing career. And here I am now <laughs> about to flip my life and do the same thing that this guy did and let something pass that could have changed his entire life. He could have had a whole career in performing. I got a career in performing because of that change. So who am I to say, Oh, I'm not going to get my hair cut because that's part of my identity. Really? Okay. I finally saw it. The light bulb went off and I said, okay, here's what I'm going to do. So I turned around and I sent him a message back. Uh, something happened with a script in between all this that I was sending to him about somebody that I wanted him to read their script and it wouldn't go through in text. So I sent it by email and I had forgotten that in my email that one picture I said that's important to look at um, 
that picture is in my signature part of my email. So his only response back was, oh my God, that's you in that email. That's the look I've been looking for. And I was like, oh man, I think I know where this is headed now. I think I see the whole connection, you know? I see what's going on. I see what's about to happen here. So I negotiated back. I sent back a, another text to him and I said, okay, here's what I'm thinking. You know, I know that you're more interested in seeing my, the cleaner cut look on me as the actor. And I know this is part of what my, my whole project has been about, my whole video series. I said, but what I, part of my video series also included me being able to come to the whatever gig I have or event and record it for the viewers, for my channel and for my actual series to show the whole process. Because I talk about that in the very beginning of my series when I'm explaining what it's about. I said, I want to take you with me. I want you to see what it's like for me as an actor and the challenges that I go through. So I said, why don't we do this? How about if I'm allowed to take most of my documentary series, I can take pictures, I can take videos uh, behind the scenes, and we'll start with me uh, doing like a test shoot with the hair so we can see how this looks and decide whether you really think it needs to go or not. And then I'll have to think about it and I'll have to make a decision about it, but I'm more than likely happy to probably do that as long as I can bring all of my video stuff and be able to record this process. And he goes, I love it. I think it's fantastic. So <laughs> it took me until about a week ago to figure out this has all been sitting in my lap. I just needed to put it all together. I needed to be the person who was the solution. Once again, I'm your solution. He loves the idea. So tomorrow morning, guess what? I'm going to be going and starting this entire process for myself. I'm going to go with the hair long and we're going to take a look at it. We're going to talk about it. He's, he's agreed we can do a little sit down chat and I can record that uh, where I can kind of find out a little bit more about the character with him. And we're going to talk about the hair. And the whole thing is literally happening. It's very exciting for me. It's very emotional for me because this is literally all I've wanted. And what an incredible feeling to know that, that the process that I've been believing in and the concept of thinking, feeling, and taking action does work. For me, it's proof. It's 100% proof that I can make this happen for my life. And this is just the start. This is just a minute little start, but it's gigantic in what it's going to pay off with. You know, the opportunity for me to get this film under my belt. It's a short film, exactly what I was looking for. I have full access with my video equipment to be able to capture a documentary style of this entire thing. We can then use it together once the film goes to where he expects it to go, which is, guess what? The film festivals. So that's a massive amount of exposure. If it takes off, we have a whole behind the scenes recording that we can make another video out of and refer that through YouTube or wherever, any social media to say in support of the film for giving retribution, check out our back the scenes, behind the scenes stuff. So I'm pretty excited about that. I have 100% manifested this for myself. When I look at the chain of events, I can see 100%. And it was the first time that I finally said, oh, I got to reach out to my friends and start moving out there and see what, what can come out of that. Not that I wanted uh, them to be my solution, but I, I don't know what to say. It, manifestation is an incredible thing if you truly believe in the process. If you truly see that it's what you think, feel, and take action on you can create a completely different world for yourself or take your world in the direction that you really want. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video. I'll see you on my little journey. Okay, bye.